class, we did problem 1.2 on page 12, and we filled out these thermometers. And part of the goal was to find all the missing numbers. Just a quick review. Each thermometer has 10 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So for example, on the 7th grade thermometer, let's zoom in there, to figure out all the missing numbers, we took the goal value of 450, divided into 10 equal parts, 450 divided by 10 is 45. And so then we found this first number here. And we count it by 45s. 45 plus 45 is 90. Add another 45 and you get 135. Add another 45 and you get 180. Add another 45 and you get 225. Keep going like this all the way to the goal of 450 right here. Then we had to make claims using these thermometers. So, on the next page, Ben made a claim, and his claim said that for every $60 that the 6th graders made, the 7th graders made 90 And in class, we decided that Ben was correct. One of the ways was just lining up the chart over here since the 60 lined up with the 90. Most of the students were agreeing with Ben's claim. So we said that Ben was correct because 60 is 2 tenths of the 6th grade goal and 90 is 2 tenths of the 7th grade goal. Um, that's just one way to do the problem. There, there are lots of other ways, but we're going to focus on ratios today. And one of the new things that we're introducing in sixth grade is a ratio table. So Ben made another claim. It said also Ben claims um, that for every $30 the sixth graders make, so right here, the seventh graders make 45. And that's correct because $30 is one tenth of the sixth grade goal and 45 is one tenth of the seventh grade goal. And what I was introducing today is that you don't even need to see that picture if you want to make claims comparing the sixth grade and the seventh grade if you have Ben's first claim to be correct. So Ben's first claim said for every $60 that the 6th graders made, the 7th graders made 90. You could use a ratio table to come up with all kinds of claims. The way a ratio table works is you just can multiply or divide the numbers in the top and the numbers in the bottom by the same value. For example, I divided 60 by 2, just like reducing fractions, and I got 30. When I divide 90 by 2, I get 45. That's how come I agree with Ben, because my ratio table tells me for every $30 that the 6th graders make, 7th graders make 45. Think of some other what claims that you could make. You could divide both of these by 10. It's a little bit harder. But if we divide by 10, we could even say for every $3 the 6th graders make, 7th graders would make 4.5 or $4.50. One of the goals of this unit is to make more claims. Try to make comparisons using ratios. The ratio table 
is a really handy way to do that. So I'm going to take this ratio table here, if I can copy it. Paste it over here. Let's see if we can make a few more, add a few more claims. So, what's great about a ratio table is you can do so many things in one problem. For example, I could also divide 30 and 45 by 5. So I'm going to go down a little lower here and show that I'm going to divide by 5. So I can divide both of these by 5. It takes practice, and we're going to practice this a lot. Don't worry if this is confusing at first. 30 divided by 5 is 6. 45 divided by 5 is 9. So now I could say for every $6 the 6th graders make, the 7th graders will make 9. Or I could divide by 3 because 3 goes into 6 and 9. So I could say for every $2 the 6th graders make, the 7th graders make 3. So, here's a few more claims. For every $2, the 6th graders raise, I guess that's what they're planning to raise, the 7th graders Ratio of two to three. Or I could say the ratio of the sixth grade goal. Seventh grade goal is two to three. And I got that from the ratio table. You might be wondering how I did that without looking at the goals. So if we go back and look at the goals, remember the sixth grade goal was $300 and the seventh grade goal was $450. So when it Check what the ratio of the sixth grade goal was. Remember, it was sixth grade was 300, and the seventh grade is 450. Well, a ratio is like a fraction, and I can reduce that fraction. I can divide, like you did in elementary school, by 10, and then I would get. 30 over 45. 
And then I can divide both of those by 15. And I would get my most reduced fraction, 2 over 3. So the ratio of the 6th grade goal to the 7th grade goal is 2 to 3. You can get it by reducing fractions. And you can get it with the ratio table. The last thing I want to say before we go away from this is there are three different ways to write ratios. You can write ratios with the word 2, 2 to 3. You could also write it with a colon. That means 2 to 3. And you could write it as a fraction, 2 to 3.